I have serious beef with the generation that came before us because they were the ones who let this stupid colonial foundation remain standing. And that's why we're still operating with it today. Imagine living in a country where you are from. This is your ancestral home. And they tell you that speaking your ancestral language in school is a crime and you get punished for it. The entire educational system in Nigeria needs to be thrown in the trash. Hell, the entire educational system on the continent, I believe, needs a revamp. But, you know, right now focusing on Nigeria, yes. The one in Nigeria needs to be trashed, like, since yesterday. We need to build a new one from scratch, one that is tailored by us, for us, because what we are using is, you know, the ones that them colonizers put together and it's working for them not for us but you know let's get to this comment now um i am a teacher as per training in school trained twice one college of education nigeria worry and also university of benin i studied educational management and economics so you are looking at you know an educational manager a teacher and an economics in school, we learned about the various educational policies we have in Nigeria. And to be fair, we have some very nice educational policies, but we have a major implementation problem in this country. That is that. Now, really, onto your comments. I think one thing we need to bring into our educational system is us actually studying in our languages because the fact that we are not studying in our languages is actually helping us kill our languages we don't have books in our languages we are not even allowed to speak our languages while we are in school crazy but that is nigeria for you studies have shown that people learn better when they learn in their mother tongue now i want to share a story of like you know true life experience of a friend of mine in 2021, she was posted to Oyo State for her NYSC. She was posted to a secondary school in a small town in Oyo so she can go, you know, teach. And that was going to be her, you know, her service. For my non-Nigerian brands and sisters who don't know what NYSC is, NYSC stands for National Youth Service Corp. It's a program that was set up by the Nigerian government during Nigeria's military regime. And this program was set up so Nigerian graduates can, you know, be involved in the development process of Nigeria. It's a very big deal in Nigeria. Every graduate is expected to go for the service, a one-year compulsory service for graduates. And after it, you get a certificate and everything. You can't get official jobs if you don't do this as a graduate. This is me during my service with my uniform and everything. I did mine in 2022. So now that we all know what NYC is, let's get back to the video. After a while, she started complaining to me. She started saying that the kids over there in the school where she was posted to were struggling majorly in school. They were struggling to learn because they were being taught in English. And these kids don't really flow with English. These kids are not learning properly because they are being taught in a language that they don't really understand, but they are, they are being forced to learn in this language, but they don't understand the language fully. Let's make it make sense as to what exactly is going on here. That one set aside, if you are caught speaking Yoruba, they speak Yoruba in or your state, then they get fined or punished for it because you are in a school environment, you are supposed to be speaking English. This is what colonization have done to us. We have picked being able to speak English over actually being able to get quality education. Now, obviously, nobody cares if these kids are learning anything. Because if they care about these kids' education, they would have tailored their education to fit them and start teaching them in Yoruba. Then these kids would actually be learning in class, but no. Let's teach in English. If they get it, they get it. Who cares? Like, we're supposed to teach in English. It's by fault. Must we teach in English? What is education supposed to be about? Priority misplaced. Hell, they've thrown priority out the window. Nobody cares about what's important anymore is kids must speak English and they must learn in English. Why must they learn in this colonial language when they can actually learn in their mother tongue 
and get what is being taught so they can be productive member of society. These kids, according to my friend, are going to graduate. She even said they, they push them. They don't even care if they pass, if they know what's happening. They just, you know, they push them from class to class because they don't care. These kids now are going to be secondary school graduates. And eventually, they come out and wasted all that years. All, everything wasted. When they could have actually been in class, and they would get thoughts in the language that they can understand, get all that information, get the foundation that they need to give them, you know, a good start in life. But no, we must teach in English. This is why I made mention of our educational system earlier, because this we must teach in English is a colonial stuff. Go to China, they are teaching them in Chinese. You go to South Korea, they are teaching them in, in Hangul. They are teaching these children in languages that they understand in their languages. You reach Nigeria, no, you must learn in the, colon, the colonizer's language. We don't care if you're actually understanding. And I know you didn't mention our educational system in your comments, but I wrote our educational system in because our educational system is one of the reasons why our languages are dying. Because they start denouncing, they start making us actually denounce our languages right from KG, right from kindergarten, nursery school, they start making us denounce it. Before we even start to get awareness of what's going on, they very start telling us nope to that, we don't want that around here. And let's also not forget the fact that it is because schools teach in English, that's why some of us, our parents refuse to teach us our languages. Because they worried that learning two languages at a time would confuse us. So they picked the language that was being taught in school because they wanted us to not have a hard time when we go to school. I believe our educational system is one, if not even the major reason why our languages are dying. And it's also one of the reasons why some people don't like their languages so much. They see it as too local for them because we grew up in a society that pedestalized the English language over ours. I have serious beef with the generation that came before us because they were the ones who let this stupid colonial foundation remain standing. And that's why we're still operating with it today. Imagine living in a country where you are from. This is your ancestral home. And they tell you that speaking your ancestral language in school is a crime and you get punished for it. As I'm here now, I think in English. I can't think in my native language because they've been making me think in English since I came out of the womb. I had to rope our educational system into this because it plays a major role in what's going on here. If I had a say on our educational system, every single state, every single region in this country will be teaching kids in their languages. All of them. If you are in Urobo land, all your educational materials will be written in Urobo and you will learn in Urobo. If you are in an Izon land, all your educational materials will be written in Izon and you will learn in Izon. If you are in Hausa land, all your educational materials will be written in Hausa and you will learn in Hausa. And for those of our English apologists, those colonizers in African skin that have made it their mission in life to uphold colonial ideologies, like their lives depend on it, that intend to come in here talking about, well, if we stop learning in English in school, how will we not be able to communicate with the rest of the world still? It's 2024, let us receive sense. There are a plethora of countries out there that speak their native tongue. They communicate just fine with the rest of the world. Like it's only in Africa I hear these arguments because folks just want to hold on so tightly onto this colonial stuff. What they are doing for them, I don't know. Every time it's this mentality of trash yours so we can assimilate into other people's. Two things can happen at the same time. We can keep our languages. We can prioritize our languages while still having English at our back pocket for when we need it. The point here is putting other people's ish over yours. That's insane. It's an insane thing that we are doing because nobody does that with ours. They don't prioritize ours and put theirs for back pockets. It's so bad. We don't even sign documents in our languages. You be hearing stories of how the Chinese want to do stuff with Nigerians and then they bring papers to sign and it's written in Mandarin and Nigerians, Nigerian politicians will sign them. We don't have documents in our languages that we give people to sign. Other people prioritize their culture, not only we, the true way ours. Only we do this. Only we force ourselves into this assimilation mentality, this assimilation thing that we are doing. We force assimilation culture on ourselves.
Like, I just want to tell my people, it's 2024. We can breathe now. It's safe. It's okay to be African. It's okay to be authentically you. It's okay to speak our languages. We are not supposed to be punished for it. Ours is not supposed to be placed to the back pocket for other people's stuff. It's okay for us to be who we are as African people. It's safe to be authentically who we are. So us choosing to not want to be who we authentically are is us doing ourselves a disservice.